I'm going to forever debunk the vaccine autism conspiracy. You know how conspiracy theorists will bombard you with a list of studies? Well, I went through them all. Here's the list they usually share. First of all, I put it into Excel and found most of them are repeated twice or three times in the same list. Once you remove duplicates, there's only 25. Four of them are posted in a medical hypothesis journal, which states itself it will consider radical, speculative, and non-mainstream ideas. This study looks at hep B vaccination for male infants. The data set included people who were born six years before the vaccine was introduced. Only nine of their subjects were given the vaccine. These guys debunked themselves in their own study and assumed AS only comes from vaccines. It also has a 1.2% correlation. The author isn't a scientist and is a board member of an anti-vaccine group. This study has an expression of concern attached to it and links to sources that are retracted. This is a theoretical review. It's literally opinion, has no science, and it's rubbish. This study found those with autism actually had less mercury in their hair. They debunked themselves in their own study. These guys use the most basic stats possible. They say in their own conclusion they cannot draw a link. This study saturated cells out of the body in thiamersal way more than vaccines and was a very small population. This entire study is based off a study that was retracted due to undeclared competing interests. They also conclude themselves there's no clear proof. This study also just looked at cells in addition concluded there's no apparent differences between autistic and non-autistic siblings. These guys used 20 times the normal amount of thiamersal in mice. This one is posted in an alternative health journal. For its evidence, it quotes a paper that only analyzed seven people that got a CNS disorder 33 months after a vaccine. This one was an absolute doozy. My third reference completely debunks it. For example, they used a non-validated method and ignored their own contradictory findings to fit their narrative. These eight papers include the Gier family as authors, who were injecting autistic children with the drug used to halt puberty and treat prostate cancer. He had his medical license suspended. They've also been hired to appear in hundreds of vaccine related lawsuits. Their fellow authors are on anti-vaccine committees. Got her son injections to stop his masturbating. Each one of them also heavily references each other. It's the blind leading the blind. For example, they reference themselves 17 times in this paper. They attempted to rename data files to look like original data sets from the VSD database. A lot of these use data that comes from Mark Gare's own institute. So he decides who has autism and not. This study was only nine children with terrible statistics. In this one, they list a minimum of six limitations to their own data and conclusions. They also mix epidemiological data, cherry picking. There's a lot to go through here. It's all junk and it's all to make money. Now let's look at some actual good studies. Over half a million children, 1 million children, 100,000 children, 1 million children, 200,000 children. And this study that was funded by the anti-vaccination group Safe Minds found no evidence at all.